Ever wondered what would happen if God has a bad day in the office and ends up striking somebody with lightning by mistake? Hey guys, my name is Leia and welcome to Anime Recap Pro. Turns out this case is for today's recap in another world with my smartphone. But before we get started, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. And without any other delays, let's get started. God makes a careless error and unintentionally kills Toyoa Mochizuki with a lightning strike. As an apology, God grants him one wish and the opportunity to start over in a fantastical fantasy realm. Toya gladly accepts the job and makes just one request before setting off his adventure in a mysterious world, that he be allowed to keep his smartphone. God also approves Toya's reflexes, memory, and stamina. In the new world, Toya defeats multiple thugs to save twin girls, Elze and Lindsay Silueska from harm. The three then start a party and accepts paid requests, with the Silueskas teaching Toya how to read languages from around the world and utilize magic. Toya gains the ability to wield all forms of magic, giving him tremendous power. Most magicians are only capable of using one or two. However, Lindsay is capable of using three. Later, Toya stops at a cafe where he aids the proprietor in finding a recipe for some delectable ice cream. As Toya continues to study as many magic spells as possible, including the versatile Null Magic, he assists Ye Kokonoe, a samurai, in fending off numerous thugs and invites her to join their group. Some lizards ambush the group while traveling to the royal cafe capital to deliver a message. A dark magician had conjured up the lizards to assault a royal carriage. Toya enters the royal carriage and throws a null healing spell, bearing a butler named Liam from certain death as the girls and magician battle the lizards. Together, the group travels to the royal capital, where Lady Sushi Orneo Ortende, who is also in charge of the carriage, thanks Toya for saving Liam. Once there, Sue presents Toya to Duke Alfred Ortende. The Duke expresses gratitude for Toya for saving his daughter, but adds that Sue's mother, Duchess Ellen Ortelinde, the Duke's wife, was blinded by disease and asks for a healing spell strong enough to reverse the Duchess's blindness. Toya grants her wish and heals the Duchess of her blindness using a null healing spell. The Duke presents Toya with four royal medals that symbolize Toya, Ye, and the Siluescas now under the Duke's protection. Together with the 40 platinum coins, equal to about 40 million yen, as thanks for protecting his family, Ye decides to join the party after delivering the letter. At the royal capital, Toya encounters demi-human races like elves and beast men and aids a lost fox girl named Arma in locating her older sister, Olga. While shopping with the girls, Toya purchases a magician's coat that makes magicians more vulnerable to the magic they cannot use while protecting them from the magic that they can. Later, at the request of a woodcutter, Toya uses a null crafting spell to transform a tree stump into a shogi board, which then he presents to the duke and demonstrates how to use it. The following day, Toya and the girls agree to take on a mission to eliminate Dullahan close to the ruins of the former capital city. Toya locates a magically valuable object concealed in an underground dungeon after the Dullahan has been vanquished using a null finding spell. After Toya takes the item's energy source, which turns out to be energy source for an artificial glass beast that can repair any damage done to it, the party is able to destroy the artificial glass beast. When the group returns to the royal capital, they tell Duke what happened. The Duke expresses his suspicion that the beast might have been the cause of the ancient city's abandonment and asks Toyua to assist him the following day in an investigation. The duke later got in touch with Toyua and informed him that his brother, the king of royal capital, had been poisoned. The duke expresses anxiety to Toyua as they go to the royal capital and informs him that Princess Yumiya Ornea Belfast, the king's eldest daughter, could take the throne in the event of his death. When Toyua and the duke reach the capital, Toyua uses a null healing spell to remove the poison from the king. Yumiya starts to fall for Toyuya rather quickly. A count named Balsa, who works for the capital, alleges that Olga, the city's ambassador, is the prisoner and has been charged with giving the king poisoned wine. Toyuya intends to recreate the meal when the king was poisoned. After asking Balsa to drink from the king's glass, Toyuya realizes that Balsa poisoned only the wine in the king's glass. Toyuya then frames Olga by claiming that she gave the monarch poisoned bottled wine. The king decides to let Yumina and Toyuya be engaged for two years in the hopes that she will capture Toyuya's heart and that he will decide to marry Yumina once Balsa has been detained and Olga has been found not guilty. After the royal visit, Yumina joins the group and teaches Toyuya how to use magic. During this time, Toyuya summons the white monarch, a strong tiger spirit for whom he forms a pact and renames Kohaku. The girls are hesitant to assist Toyuya because they are concerned that the slimes will ruin their clothing, but Toyuya accepts a gift to go to the abandoned castle to look into a deceased magician's research on 
slime beasts. The gang encounters countless slimes at the castle and learns that the magician has developed a slime that could change into the representations of stunning women. After Toyua rescues them from the slimes, the girls resolve to set castle on fire to destroy the magician's study. Later, Toyua uses a null search magic on his phone to assist Ye in finding the lost girl's mother. Toyua agrees to help Ye find her older brother, who she later learns is secure at a dojo. Much to Ye's delight, Toyua teaches Linze a new water bomb spell in the meantime. Later, he takes Elza shopping and purchases a dress that she likes. As the girls ask Toyua to do the same for them, Yumina receives a letter from the royal palace thanking Toyua for identifying the person responsible for the king's poisoning and granting him knighthood. The monarch agrees to let Toyua and Yumina take ownership of a sizable mansion in its place when Toyua rejects the knighthood offer. Toyua mistakenly suggests he wants to marry Elze, Linze, and Ye. While experiencing, he regards them as family and wants them to live there as well. Yumina slips up with his remarks as well, but manages to calm the girls down and convince them to take the offer. Sue and Duke eventually make their way to the mansion, where the Duke asks Toyua to travel to the Kingdom of Miss Mead in light of their agreement. At Arma's request, Toyua insists on Sir Lion in selecting a gift that Olga will appreciate after noticing the knight has a crush on her. Later that evening, a black dragon attacked a nearby village, which Toyua and the girls later vanquished. The group receives an apology from a red dragon for not arriving to stop the black dragon. Kohaku commands the dragon to give the Azure monarch, who is likely the dragon monarch, better authority over the dragons. The following day, Toyua passes out and wakes up in Yumina's lap. To win the right to have Toyua sleep on the girls, Yumina challenges them to a game of rock, paper, scissors, and defeats them. As soon as they reach Miss Mead's capital, Toyua's party has a meeting with the king. The king challenges Toyua to a duel with the audience. Toyua learns to employ the king's own null magic, a cell, which gives him increased speed throughout the combat. And by combining a cell with boost, he defeats them. That evening, Toyua meets a fairy named Lean, who has been around for more than 600 years. Lean teaches Toyua how to cast the program spell, which imbues objects with predetermined magical abilities. Lean, who is pleased by Toyua's capabilities, offers to teach him more magic after watching him perform his own program skill, but he declines. The following day, Toyua, Linze, and Yumina go shopping for supplies to build a pistol sword that has auto reload and blade extending characteristics thanks to program. He makes the guns for the females when they both request them. In order to meet his pursuers, who are later revealed to be spies by the monarch to watch over and protect Yumina, Toyuyo temporarily leaves Linze at Yumina and heads back. They were also the ones that aided them in their covert battle with the dragon. Toyuyo agrees to keep it a secret from the others at their request, and Lin decides that she will not give up on Toyuyo so easily. Later that evening, Toyuyo creates a portal to Belfast, enabling the two kings to meet. Want to find out what happens? at the meeting of the two kings, click to watch part two appearing on your screen. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe.